I don't get it. I really don't get it, guys. It seems they can tell us blatantly to our faces that they have screwed us over, that they have screwed over the millennials, Gen Z and Gen Alpha, and there is not a peep from anybody about this. There are no protests on the streets. There are no videos of the millennials and Gen Z who are absolutely outraged about what has happened. It is just complete silence. These pieces of human excrement, regardless of political brand, because it doesn't matter whether it's Republicans or Democrats, they've all taken turns in screwing over the American people. And I say we, because whatever happens to America is going to happen to my country. It's going to happen to Canada. It's going to happen to New Zealand. And it's going to happen to the UK and Europe. When America collapses, and it will, because they have just admitted they are broke, they are bankrupt, so we're literally just going through the motions now. But when America collapses, the rest of the Western world will follow, just like dominoes. So let's listen to this piece of human excrement, Tommy Tuberville, basically telling Americans to their faces that they have been screwed and that the pension funds that they have been paying into so that they can retire are nothing but a scam. This is all a scam. I mean, we got people that's getting ready to retire that's going to try to live off two to $3,000. Impossible. It's impossible. Because what happens, it comes up here, we spend it. We're 35 trillion in debt. We don't have any money. We're dead broke. And then taxpayers have $2 trillion in credit card debt. They are dead broke. The U.S. is bankrupt, guys. Put a fork in it. It's done, guys. Why is everybody just ignoring what is right in front of our faces? It's literally maths, guys. It's not just some Republican politician saying something because he's trying to have a go at Biden. Okay. We are broke. The West is broke. The U.S. is absolutely bankrupted. It took them 200 years before they were $1 trillion in debt. Now, every three months, they're another trillion dollars in debt. It's only a matter of time before the rest of the world realizes that America is bankrupt. The dollar is worthless. Millennials, Gen Z, Gen Alpha, I'm sorry that we allowed this system to be so corrupted that you guys are completely screwed over. You will never retire. They are literally telling you, you will never retire. There is no money left for you. They spend it all. All of the money that you think you're paying into your pension funds and it's sitting somewhere in some account is getting spent. They're admitting there is no fund. It gets spent immediately. They have no money. They are looting the treasury. Literally, guys, this is what happens in the last stages of a civilization just before it collapses. One of the last things that those in power do is loot the treasury. And this is what is happening now. When they are printing this money out of thin air, they are devaluing the currency. They are devaluing the dollar. And they are literally bankrupting the country if it can be any more bankrupt than it already is because it's already $34 trillion in the red. 
that money can never ever be paid back there's just no way it's mathematically impossible guys for the money to be paid back and just for those of you who want to make this political to start with get the fuck off my channel if you are still so stupefied that after all this time you still want to reduce this to political point scoring. You are brain dead. There is no help for you. I get that a few years ago, after we had the Obama administration, which was completely corrupt, and somebody who wasn't your usual politician decided that they were going to run for the presidency i get that some of you thought that this may be the change that was finally going to fix things but we saw that trump was no different he did not drain the swamp he did not imprison hillary and he called himself the father of the vax he was all for people being vaxxed. He also increased the national debt more than any other president in one term, in one single term. Now, I'm not going to blame this on him completely. As I said, this goes beyond political brand because you, if, if you have a look Obama actually increased the debt more than any other president. But look what Trump did in one term. And Biden is no better. They are all cut from the same cloth, guys. It's a clown show. And they are all playing their part. And the system is about to collapse by design. And then they're going to bring in a completely theocratic communist system where you and me will own nothing. But before that system gets implemented, they are going to collapse everything and we are going to have to live through that nightmare because it is going to be very, very difficult. It's going to include food shortages. It's going to include lots of violence. And by the time they offer us up a saviour to rescue us, we are not going to care who that saviour is as long as they stop the horrors and the hunger and the violence and the misery that we are all experiencing. It's all by design all of these pieces of human excrement will no longer play any part in the script they will be obsolete because they're going to bring in a whole new cast of characters and when that part of the script starts paying out when that part of the script is what we are having to live with it's not going to be very pleasant there is going to be no more freedom the internet is going to be completely controlled we're all going to have internet ids everything we say online is going to be recorded against our name no more anonymity that's all gone no more creativity everything will be fully controlled by them and as I said, it's going to be a theocratic system. It's going to be the opposite of what we've got now with this progressive liberalism. It's going to go to the complete extreme of the other side of the coin. And it's going to be religious extremism. They're going to put us on UBI. We're going to be segregated into skill sets. We're going to be no longer dependent on immigrants to farm 
and do all of the menial tasks that we have basically just given over to these people. In fact, they are going to also see these immigrants in exactly the same way as they see any of us. It's not going to be any different. Anybody that is within the borders when this new system comes in will be classed as a citizen of whatever the country is that they are going to call it because it's going to change completely, guys. And I know that you guys just do not want to believe this. Normalcy bias is a horrid, horrid psychological state of mind. You cannot imagine anything different tomorrow because it's going to be the same as what happened today. And today is the same as what happened yesterday. And unfortunately, that is what makes you a victim in what they have planned because you just cannot process and fathom the level of evil that we are dealing with, the level of corruption that we are dealing with. And that is because you believe in the stage show. You believe that this Republican politician here is actually against the democratic politician you don't actually believe that in the back rooms they're laughing at us all they are mocking us because it's us against them it's them against us it's not us against each other guys they've socially engineered us to be bickering and fighting amongst each other on race, on class, on generation, on gender, on religion. Every single way that they could think to divide us, they have used social media and propaganda to create this division, this dissension. And that's because while we are bickering with each other, we are not actually focused on who is really causing all of our misery. Who are the ones who have caused so much financial hardship in our lives? Is it each other or is it them? And now they're bragging about it and laughing about it and mocking us, telling us to our faces, it's over. The U.S. is bankrupt. The money can never be paid back. Millennials, Gen Z, Alpha, you guys are screwed. You don't even get the scraps at the bottom of the barrel because there are no scraps left. The barrel is empty. It's gone, finished, done. So it's time to wake up, guys. It's time to see what's right in front of our faces because they're counting on your programming and your social engineering and your normalcy bias to keep you blind to what they are doing and what they have planned. Now, it's not like we can actually change anything. We're too far gone for that. We're too far gone, we're too propagandized, and we have no power anymore. But for those of you who still are trying to awaken and remove yourself from this system and really wake up and accept the truth, it's time to start readying yourself mentally, spiritually, and physically as much as possible. Because it will mean the difference between whether you really suffer in what's coming or whether you're able to navigate your way through and find some path that will lessen your suffering. Well, I will post this video underneath the video here in the description, guys, and you can check it out for yourself. And as always, peace out.